from the GMC system uh, telling us that we're at the appropriate range to the target to do so. As soon as we deploy those, uh, we will uh, no longer have a CG offset um, and uh, we'll be ready to deploy the uh, parachute 17 seconds later. I'm going to hold here for uh, EO prep as uh, we're about to start that anchor. Copy, piece two. And activity, please call that out when it's ready. Copy, Flip. What's in store for them as we approach landing? Well, this is the pretty, uh, this is the nail biting time. Um, fortunately, we still have ones and zeros coming, but very soon, as we approach true state separation, the the transmitter on this rover that's been we've been using all the way to get to Mars is going to be turned off, and and we will lose our ability to see ones and zeros. But the good thing is, once the crew stage is gone, there's another radio that will continue transmitting uh, a tone. So that, like a, like a flashlight that will allow us to see at least see that the vehicle is still on, and that and that, and that color of that flashlight tells us a little bit what, what state this the rover's in. But soon after that, um, it won't be very long before we'll be able to hear more ones and zeros coming from the spacecraft. Um, so this is a really exciting time, and, and it's just important to remind, remind people this is a uh, there's a lot that can go wrong in a day like today. There's, there are thousands of things that have to go right. Yeah, we had success in the past landing on Mars. You'd think it gets easier, but it really doesn't. Why is it still so difficult? Well, it's well because it's involved thousands and thousands of things, hundreds of thousands of lines of code. We, there, there is uh, there's 79 pyrotechnic devices. Each have to work perfectly. One critical wire. Very easy. We're human beings. We're not perfect. Mistakes can be made. Um, we each count on each other to to find. Uh, our own mistakes, and we, and we uh, work very hard to to learn from the mistakes of the past. Um, we've had many failures. Half remind people, half, roughly half, a little uh, around half of the missions to Mars over history have failed. Um, and so it's 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 that could happen today too. Even though we've had a nice, wonderful stream. A, a still a bit of a gamble, a gamble that we've we have hoped that we have we have erred in the side of luck, and 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 we've stacked the deck dice, the stacked the deck, and uh, uh, loaded the dice to make this thing succeed. Um, but um, if we do if we do fail, and something bad happens today, I can tell you we're going to learn it. We'll have the data to tell us what happened. We'll know why. We'll figure it out. And and, and if if we are allowed, we will pick ourselves up and get us back on the horse. And if Congress and NASA allow, we will try again. As we always do, we will learn from our mistakes. And what are the possible scenarios we could be looking at today? Well, there's things, things like uh, uh, one of the key stressful elements for all of us is parachute inflation. Uh, but just even separating from the crew stage is a, is a pretty major event. Lots of devices have to work properly. Um, certainly, um, the heat shield separation, uh, getting, getting the, the descent engine started, there's no less than, than uh, uh, 16 ent rocket motors that have to work, uh, one to, uh, eight to control during entry, another eight to control it during landing. I, I said, it's a lot of stuff, and it all has to work. And guess what? We haven't done this before. With this vehicle ever this is this first attempt to actually land we, we can't try this on earth we can't do uh, we don't have test pilots to try it out on this planet before the big show so this vehicle is doing it for the first time we've done the best test that we could do in bits and pieces but you know it's it's as best as we could do and and uh but i think our team is up to it we've this team is the best it's a diverse intelligent amazing group of people uh, people from all over the world who worked on this not just here in california but all over nasa contributors from aerospace universities countries around the world it is just a, an incredible remarkable engineering achievement and i am just so proud of this team thanks rob now let's listen back into mission control right there are about 14 minutes from entry interface. The vehicle is currently preparing the heat rejection system that has kept the thermal system cool inside the air shell for about the last six months. This will allow the spacecraft to more easily cut the line in upcoming crew stage separation, which is under four minutes now. We 
We have now enabled the rover pyro bus. That's the pyrotechnic uh, system um, that that was clear. Clear. powering off the cruise stage devices. And these are the these are the things in the cruise stage that will that we no longer need. With the pyrotechnic system working, we can you can we can explode the devices. The vehicle is preparing for the upcoming cruise stage operation in about three minutes fifteen seconds by powering off all the devices on the cruise stage in order that they can be safe once the cruise stage is jettisoned. Yeah, this is a this is a this cruise stage has been very reliable. We are firing our first pyros to vent the HRS liquid and gas. Uh, this has been the coolant that's kept their vehicle from getting too hot in the way of Mars. We have to vent it into space. And this, this is one of the first uh, major events that take place as part of entry descent landing. Uh, the HRS vent anchor is complete. Yes. We will see the next anchor in approximately three minutes. Okay, we'll just, we're just waiting. The, 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 the rover is completely in charge. It's doing all the things we taught it how to do. It. It's all built into the software. We've tested it over and over and over again. This team has spent 24 hours a day, seven days a week, testing this thing for years, and and, and so this is uh, this is really the culmination of all that work. So this vehicle is is going is getting ready to push that cruise stage away. Uh, once it gets pushed away, um, it, it'll, it, it'll, it'll, the entry system with the rover inside, with the rover still in charge, is going to get ready to, to uh, take the vehicle, turn it to the right orientation, and aim it to Mars, and and uh, and prepare for entering the atmosphere. This won't be long. Um, be prepared for this event. We're about a minute and a half from the state separation. About 11 minutes, 20 seconds from entry interface. Okay, so it's about 10 minutes from previously separation until it entering the top of the atmosphere. From then on and out, things happen. Here's which is MFSK tones. To entry will have stopped. Telecom is confirming that the spacecraft has switched to broadcasting tones. These tones are received directly from Perseverance, but have very limited information content. We won't receive real-time information until about um, nine, ten minutes from now, once the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter starts relaying information from Perseverance. We are under a minute from cruise stage separation, about ten and a half minutes from entry interface. It's getting exciting. I have to admit, I am quite anxious, uh, but very hopeful that this machine is going to do what we asked it to do. Heartbeat tones. Okay, that means that, we, that there's no more ones and zeros coming. It's just the vehicle telling us it's still alive. We're continuing to receive tones from Perseverance. Coming, standing by for cruise stage separation. Temmuz 2020 program başlatıldı tarih. Bugün 18 Şubat 2021 tam 7 ay sonra Mars'a iniş gerçekleştirecek Perseverance. Heyecanla bekliyoruz. There's indication that cruise stage separation has been confirmed by the spacecraft. We're off on a good start. In about one minute, Perseverance's landing software will wake up and begin the final preparations for entry. The first action it will do is to fire warm-up pulses with its entry thrusters. These pulses ensure that the spacecraft gets the thrust that it wants during entry interface. We're about nine minutes from entry interface. Okay, so now the vehicle's on its own. It's, gonna, it's turning itself into the direction of facing the heat shield toward Mars, and uh, and will eventually uh, uh, hitting the top of the atmosphere. We're not far away. This is going to go very quickly from here on out. That's confirmation that uh, we got shadowed by the cruise stage uh, as it uh, 
pass through our beam to the earth. Telecom indicated actually that we could see a signal that the crew stage went between the Perseverance energy capsule and Earth. So we saw a little blip, uh, the data stream indicating the crew stage separation. We have confirmation that the vehicle has started warming up those entry thrusters. More pulses have begun. Tabi şu an bir anekdot verelim. Mars 2020, Temmuz 2020. Mars fırlatma penceresi sırasında bu gönderilen üçüncü uzay görevi aracı. Birleşik Arap Emirlikleri ile beraber Çin. Ama tabi bunların araçları şu an yörüngede dolaşıyorlar. Bu gelecek olan Amerika Birleşik Devletleri de Perseverans aracı. Mars'ta ilgili antik ortamın yüzeyi araştırmak için gerçekleştirilmiş. Daha sonrasında tabi tarihle alakalı, yaşamın korunması için potansiyel ile alakalı işlebilirlik üzerinde. Görevinden bahsedelim. Eski geçmişte Mars'ta yaşanabilir koşulların işaretlerini arayacak ve ayrıca geçmiş mikrobiyal yaşam ve su ile ilgili kanıtları bulmaya çalışacak. Son altı buçuk dakika büyük bir heyecan yaşadıkları gözlerinden okunuyor. Okay. Ekip haklı gurur. Now we wait. Tebrikler. As soon as we get to the top of the atmosphere, the atmosphere uh, will be very quickly, which is the entry point. It, it won't be very long before the, the, the atmosphere will start getting thicker and thicker. It's going very quickly at a, at a fairly steep angle of 15 degrees uh, into the atmosphere. And as it starts to slow down. We're just under uh, we're about five and a half minutes from entry interface. Altı dakika sonra seyir çığlıklarını hep beraber sahip olacağız.
we don't need these one to zeros, as Swati said, uh, but to land safely. But we, we really need it for our own uh, health and well-being today to keep our nerves in control. But Around this time, the second spacecraft, Maven, should begin picking up telemetry from Perseverance, and we'll continue to record that telemetry until several minutes post-landing. We won't get that data for several hours after landing as it's being recorded and then will be forwarded to Earth later. We are continuing to receive heartbeat tones, indicating that everything is nominal. We're currently at about three minutes until entry interface. Okay. Very soon we'll be getting ones and zeros, I hope, from our radio on the rover. The entry interface is so nothing more than just an arbitrary place <coughs> in the sky that we define the above the atmosphere. But, th but from that Take point on, uh, there's definitely an uh, atmosphere. And above it, there isn't We're two minutes from entry interface. Perseverance is to transmit heartbeat tones, indicating everything is normal. So the tones can tell us whether something is bad or not is happening. So so far the heartbeat is, is doing well. So the vehicle thinks it's up, it's uh, in good shape to land, which is a great sign. It's okay, we're just under two minutes from entry interface. As it gets closer to Mars, Perseverance is actually being pulled in by gravity and accelerating. By the time Perseverance reaches entry interface point, she should be going just under 5.4 kilometers per second. We're at about 90 seconds from entry interface and standing by for Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to pick up the telemetry. Perseverance, geçmiş yaşamın işaretlerini de arayacak. En zorlayıcı karaya çekirdeği ve toprak örnekleriyle iade bir ön bellek ay ayıracak. Mars'ın gelecekteki insan ve robotik keşfi için gereken teknolojiyi gösterecek. Temel görev gereksinimi de NASA'nın uzun vadeli Mars Lumine yeni dönüş görevi ve mürettebatı görev çabalarını hazırlamasına yardımcı olması gerektiğidir. Notlarımızın arasında ifade edelim. We have confirmation that the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is now relaying data from Perseverance. We're about 30 seconds from entry interface. Perseverance is going about 5.2 kilometers per second and is about 190 kilometers altitude above the surface of Mars. Confirm your jet data flow. About seconds from entry interface, 5.3 kilometers per second, and an altitude of uh, 150 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Maybe yours. We have confirmation of entry interface. Perseverance is currently going 5.3 kilometers per second at an altitude of about 120 kilometers from the surface of Mars. The ship is now waiting until it begins feeling the atmosphere of Mars pull it down. Once there's enough atmosphere, it will start controlling its path to the landing target. Navigation is also confirming that we can see a little bit of that slowdown of the atmosphere on the Perseverance entry capsule. Our current velocity is about 5.36 kilometers per second and an altitude of about 67 kilometers from the surface. 
We're probably seeing MRO plasma blackout at this point. The vehicle should be doing its turns right now. MRO has lost lock. Perseverance. We have indications that Perseverance is now performing bank reversals in the atmosphere. These are the steps in order to control its distance to the landing target. Uh, President has just passed through the point of maximum deceleration and has indicated that it felt approximately 10 Earth Gs of deceleration. Tomorrow has lock again. American saat 20 şu an görüyorsunuz. Sağış köşede. We saw a small outage uh of the huge telemetry from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter during that peak heating phase like we caused by the plasma blackout. Perseverance is still continuing to perform bank reversals in the atmosphere to control its distance to the landing target. Mars Kesit Programının parçası aktörü birazdan Perseverance iş gerçekleştirecek Mars'a. Tabii dediğimiz gibi şu an Türkiye, şu Türkiye Amerika Birleşik Devletleri, Birleşik Arap Emirlikleri ile beraber Mars'a Amerika Birleşik Devletleri Umarım Türkiye ülkemizde böyle bir sevinci yaşarız yakın gelecekte. Tarası bizim başımıza. Her current velocity is about 550 meters per second and an altitude of about 15 kilometers from the surface. Camera is reporting good telemetry log. We are coming upon the straighten up. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Yes. 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 Navigation yes. has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant yes. deceleration yes. in the velocity. Our current velocity is 480 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Yes. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 km, nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Tabi Perseverance görevlerinden bir tanesi de bilim adamlarının tahmin ettiği Jerozo kraterinin yaklaşık 3.9 milyar ile 3.5 milyar yıl önce 250 metre yeah. derinliğinde bir yeah. yol olduğunu yeah. keşfetmeye Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. We have confirmation that the land division system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. We have timing of the landing engines. 
Tabanaknotlar vermeye devam edelim biz ara ara. Cezora bir gün içinden akan suyun çağlar boyunca çok fazla tortu biriktirdi. Biyo imzaları korumada son derece iyi olan önemli bir nehir deltasına sahiptir. Bu arada bu bilgisini vermiş olalım. Her velocity is around 75 meters per second and an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Grand safety bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the side crane maneuver. We've lost direct earth tones. As expected. As expected. Sky can maneuver has started. About 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Your check is good. Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. 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 the news that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. It's not, uh, it's not uh, Flight. Flight away from the completion of EDL 3000. Copy activity. That is as expected. Okay. 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 still seeing a strong signal from the lander. devam edelim anekdot vermeye. Bu ıı, görevler arasında Cezero deltasında çözeltilen muhtemelen karbonatlar ve hidratlanmış silika içeri. Bu da dünyadaki mikroskobik fosilleri milyarlarca yıldır koruduğu bilinmektedir. Evet. Evet. When you are ready, we are ready. Go for it. Wow. 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 Teknoloji olarak tarihe tanıtım ediyoruz. Size de. 
Sizlere de bu görüntüleri aktarmaya çalışıyoruz. Tabii NASA aracılığıyla. Maliyetimden bahsedelim çok kısa. NASA e, Perseverance gezginin geliştirilmesi için yaklaşık 2.2 milyar dolar. Ingenuity helikopterine de 8 milyon dolar fırlatma hizmetleri için de 243 milyon dolar harcayarak Mars 2020 bu tabi ismi misyonla 10 yılda yaklaşık 2.8 milyar dolar yatırım yapmayı planlamıştı. Sonuç bu. Tabi kamu desteği almış mıydı? Buna da bir değinelim. Mars 2020 misyonu hakkında halkın farkındalığını artırmak için NASA Perseverance depolanan mikroçip ve insanların adlarını Mars'a gönderebilecekleri bir adını Mars'a gönder kampanyası başlatmıştı. Adlarını kaydettikten sonra katılımcılar görevinin başlangıcı ve barış yerinin ayrıntılarını içeren bir star bilet aldı. Bu şekilde de kamu desteği sağlamış okay, oldular. These, these, we have a camera in the front and at the rear of the, of the, of the, of the spacecraft. Adını Mars'a uh, gönder. It's, uh, it's, it's, they're near the ground, so these are pretty close. You can evet, see the wheels there. Uh, and, 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 it, and they're a little dirty because we've got uh, glass covers over these these cameras. But uh, we took these seconds after landing, so, so they're still dust in the air from our landing event. Uh, so this is this is happening. Um, uh, you know, this happened just seconds ago. It just yes. arrived, and um, this is really amazing. And, and uh, we even know where we landed. Uh, this is the most amazing thing. The vehicle has told us where, where it's landed because we figured it out. You know, this is a sign. NASA works. NASA works. And we put our hearts together and our hands together and our brains together. We can succeed. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country on all of the problems we, we have. We need to work together to do these kinds of things and make success happen. Tekrar etmek de fayda var. Umarım yakın gelecek bize Türkiye ülkemiz bu gururunu yaşar. Teşekkürler bilim insanları. Join us now is the acting administrator of NASA, Steve Jurisic. Steve, welcome and congratulations. Hey, thank you. What an amazing day.